According to a 2016 survey, an average woman has 103 pieces of clothing in her wardrobe. Now, the chances are that at least one of those pieces of clothing is a white shirt. It's one of the most versatile pieces of clothing a woman can own. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 classy and classic ways the iconic white shirt can be worn. Let's start with a timeless classic, a white shirt paired with some black trousers. The two colours really do complement each other, creating quite a sharp but a classy look. And because of the simplicity of the combination, it's a look that can be accessorised very easily. It was this comment by Laura who reminded me what a terrific outfit this was with a white shirt. Whitney Houston is wearing a white shirt with black trousers and then it's accessorised so beautifully with sunglasses and a headscarf. It's a fabulous look and just as Laura says, it's 30 years old and looks as good today as it did then. Accessorising the outfit prevents it looking like a work outfit and there's lots of ways to do it. So instead of the headscarf, the two-piece ensemble could be worn with some leopard print, maybe a leopard print belt and perhaps some shoes as well. This adds a pop of print and some personality to the outfit. You could wear the white shirt with different style trousers, like wide leg trousers with a sweater over the shoulders, or with leather trousers for a more edgy look. A white shirt with black trousers is a timeless and classic combination that can be modernised with different trouser styles, or worn more classically with timeless accessories. In the film, Whitney Houston wore the white shirt with a trench coat, which is an ideal pairing. The neutral tone of the white shirt really complements the classic and elegant style of the trench coat perfectly. It's a very chic and practical look, and it just is an effortless put together outfit. Although a white shirt can be paired with any coloured trench coat, the combination of the white and beige gives off a particularly polished look. And on the bottom half, the shirt could be paired with some white, black or blue jeans to create some very expensive looking colour combinations. This is a look that Jennifer Aniston wore on The Morning Show. It's a navy trench style coat over a white shirt. And like Whitney Houston wore hers, it works so well with a black trench coat. I've paired mine with some two-tone shoes and a classic top handle bag. It's incredibly simple, but it just works. A white shirt with blue jeans is another classic combination that has really stood the test of time. Marilyn Monroe wore this outfit back in 1961 in the film The Misfits and she looks fabulous in it and it looks as good today as it did back then. It's the simplicity of the white shirt paired with the casualness of the blue denim that really makes a very balanced but quite a laid back look. But this could easily be dressed up by adding a blazer or you could wear some trainers or sneakers with it to keep it looking modern and fresh. If you are gonna wear a white shirt with blue jeans, one of the most sophisticated ways to dress this up is by wearing a navy blue blazer. It's a very polished outfit that needs little to no styling because it just doesn't need much to make it look good. Maybe add some very delicate jewelry, a necklace, earrings, or perhaps a bracelet, and that's all you need to make it look good. A white shirt with a blazer is a very powerful combination. The blazer just instantly elevates the shirt and it's a look that never goes out of style. And the combination can be worn with whatever colour blazer you have. As well as simply worn under a blazer, there are ways to elevate the combination. Depending on the temperature, a white shirt could be worn over a tight fitting polo neck and then layered with a blazer. It's a very smart look and it could be worn to more formal events or maybe even to the office. Now a different way to layer the shirt is with different colours and prints. You could wear a print in the same colour as the bottoms, add a white shirt and then a blazer over the top of that in a complementary colour. So these three colours, coral, white and blue, they look terrific together, but it could be recreated in, in other colours that will look just as good. A layered look could be done with a sweater too. A white shirt underneath a sweater is quite a simple but still quite a classic way to wear it. It can be quite practical, can be versatile but also comfortable too. The white shirt acts as a neutral base whereas the sweater adds some texture and a layer of warmth so it can be quite a nice way to wear the shirt in springtime. You could wear it just like that with a classic v-neck sweater maybe in a neutral colour like black, grey or navy or underneath a chunky knit sweater. This adds some extra texture and dimension to the outfit. Or you could actually go one step further by layering that over a blazer. 
This is a nice layered and quite a polished look that's great for all different occasions. Layering a white shirt can create lots of practical and stylish looks. They look great underneath the blazer and the sweater, but they also look really good layered underneath a poncho or a cape. Choose a white shirt that complements the poncho in terms of style, fabric and fit. I've put together a shopping edit of white shirts, which I'll link below for you if you're looking for one. But a simple, fitted and classic white shirt works well with most of them. Now you need to make sure that the white shirt collar is visible and not too wrinkled under the poncho. Then layer the poncho over the shirt, making sure it drapes comfortably over the shoulders. You can accessorise the outfit with a fabulous necklace or even a belt and wear it with some jeans depending on the occasion. If you wear a white shirt with some blue jeans, they can actually be paired with quite a few different pairs of shoes. You could wear white sneakers with the white shirt and blue jeans. It does create quite a casual but comfortable look and it's just perfect for those days when you've got errands to run but you still want to look good. For a more dressed up look, you could wear the combination with some two-toned shoes. This is a bit more of a classic dressy combination but it always looks chic. Loafers are a shoe option that could be worn with a white shirt and blue jeans for, for a smart, casual look. Choose a pair of loafers in a neutral colour like black and brown for a classic look or you could even try a white pair. And of course you can dress this pairing up for a night out or for a more formal occasion with a great pair of heels. For a more feminine look, the white shirt can be worn with a skirt and it can be any type of skirt, a pencil skirt, a midi skirt, a maxi skirt and they could be dressed up with some statement jewellery and some heels for a more formal event or they could be worn more casually with sneakers. For a classic look, you could tuck the white shirt into a knee-length pencil skirt and pair it with some nude or black heels. It creates quite a polished look that's perfect for formal events, maybe business meetings or a professional engagement. For more of a casual look, you could knot the white shirt at the waist and pair it with a satin or a tiered maxi skirt. Finish that look with a pair of sandals and you have a nice casual but comfortable outfit. You could also try tucking the white shirt into a denim skirt and pair that with a white sweater that's just casually thrown over the shoulders. Denim skirts have been popular since the 1960s and they're still a good staple to have in your wardrobe today. A white shirt and skirt combination is a great outfit choice for any of you who want a versatile look that can work for many different occasions. A simple way to elevate a pair of shorts is to wear them with a white shirt. It really can transform them. Shorts are casual and comfortable, but if they're not styled properly, they can sometimes look a little bit frumpy. Try them with a white shirt and you'll see just how good they can look together. Combined, they create a simple, quite fresh but relaxed look and it's much more elevated. The combination works with any style of shorts and fabric and can be worn tucked in or worn loose. It's just a nice way to wear a white shirt and wear shorts. Catherine Hepburn was a trailblazer in the world of fashion in the 1930s and the 40s. Women were typically wearing form-fitted dresses and skirts, but she opted for a far more relaxed sort of masculine style, often wearing wide leg trousers, blazers and button-down shirts. Whereas then it was considered quite unusual, today it's become quite a classic way to wear the white button-down shirt. To create a clean and a streamlined look, then put them together with a shirt that's not too big so it doesn't add any unnecessary bulk to the outfit and it just creates a little bit more of a polished look and tuck the shirt in. This will help accentuate the high waist of the wide leg trousers and it creates quite a nice balanced silhouette. You can add some accessories to the outfit like a statement belt to accentuate the waist or you could accessorize with some bold jewelry to add some personality to the outfit. The important thing though with wide leg trousers is to choose the right footwear so the trousers don't drag on the floor which will kill the look instantly. There are just a few ways to wear the white shirt in springtime. If you do need more springtime outfit ideas then this video here is the one to watch next so I'll see you over there.